So what do you think about the leaders then? People going for leadership now, um, those Rishi Sunak. So he released his video uh, within moments of obviously resigning from the Cabinet and, you know, as soon as Boris sort of announced that he was going, then Rishi had a video, which his, his team claimed that they did it in two days, which... Yeah, it's a massive nonsense. It's, it's, Here's it's, the biggest career. It's a lie, isn't it? That actually, sounds like a lie at, to me. Look at his supporters. All of the careerists are going... The ambitious people are going with Rishi Sunak. Um, his video was disappointing. It was all about him and his family's heritage. It was identity politics... Mm essentially. He didn't mention taxes, he didn't say how he was going to cut them, or, you know, he, he's painted as a socialist by people, people like myself because he's raised taxes and increased spending over mm. the last few years. And he says he isn't, but he hasn't defended himself when he's had the opportunity. So Rishi Sunak is out, in my opinion. Penny Mordaunt is entirely compromised, as you pointed out in your monologue. Yeah, she doesn't know that women are women. She says that trans women are women. And she made a mess with the whole self-ID situation that Liz Truss and Kemi Badenoch had to fix when they got in office after her. She's also a member of the World Economic Forum and good friends with Bill Gates, which also draws questions uh, for me. I mean, he wrote the forward for her book. Um, so that's, she's off, off the cards as well. Liz Truss is a Liberal, so all of the Liberals are supporting her, which is great, but we've had a Liberal. That didn't work out very well for us, so I think we need a Conservative this time around. Sajid Javid and Nadim Zahawi are both the drug, drug pushers. They were really pushing that vaccine so hard. Um, and Sajid obviously wanted a lockdown over Christmas because of Omicron, which is the cold. So I, don't, I think both those need to be kept well away from number 10. Well, also, we had Nadim Zahawi uh, stabbing Boris in the back as soon as he Absolutely. was given the post of Chancellor, which is not attractive. No, he took the job for, like, five minutes. It's just terrible. Jeremy Hunt is awful. At least he's got that in his CV now, though. Well, well, that's it. Yeah, I was, I was Chancellor for a day. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt's an awful Ramona who wanted to undermine the biggest democratic mandate this country's had in years, so he's off the cards. Well, too. he also didn't prepare this country for any sort of pandemic, and uh, to be honest, I don't think his plans for the NHS were any good. Terrible. Left it in a terrible state. So we need change. We need some, someone who is willing to stand up for the British people, speak the truth. So who? We need a straight talker. Um, I think we need someone like Kemi Badnock. I think she'd be fantastic. Um, she's... First of all, she's not afraid of the truth, and she stood up against number 10 uh, when it came to things like Black Lives Matter. She didn't um, tolerate it, did she? She won't take on that divisive language of critical race theory. She promoted the uh, recommendations of the Sewell Report and the Cred Report, and she says she will cut taxes, so she's looking out for the working people. I think she'd be a great candidate for leader of the country. Everyone says okay, so what do you taxes, think? Yeah. though. Well, uh, Kemi, I mean, it's, it's nice to hear Kemi, Suella, they come out the trap with, uh, you know, these, these magnificent Conservative principles. We, we want a smaller government. We want lower taxes. Mm. Uh, we want, you know, we're not going to kowtow to woke ideology. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure when they get in, taxes will still be high uh, and, and spending will still be high and the, they'll still have EDI departments in every, in every public EDI, sector body. E equality, diversity and inclusion. No, not at all. Not at all. So, no, no I, I, believe, I believe they would. And Kemi's had, what, three weeks, three weeks experience? Right, well, so she let, doesn't, me, let me challenge she doesn't let, me let, let, let him quickly no, come back and then we need to that. Everyone's all like, she hasn't got the experience, or people haven't, they've got a lack of experience. Actually. What experience are we talking about? Senior ministerial experience. So, yes. so the senior ministers are the ones that made this country the mess it's in in the first place. Anyone that's, yes, been, so a, they've learned from anyone, no, anyone that's been a senior minister in the last cohort should not be anywhere near government okay, at all. So, so He's someone who's had minis junior ministerial experience, so they've, they know how it works, but weren't, it weren't instrumental in the mess that we're in right now. Right, I'm going to have to wrap this up. So, Leo, who would you say, out of the people that we suggested, w any of them at all? So Calvin gets to list everyone, but and I get, all... I get one. Well, we haven't got time. I get, all right, well, I'd say, I'd say me. No, I'd say uh, Liz Truss. Why? Because she's, she's got lots of experience, uh, she's a pragmatist, and she's tough. She, she stands up to, to the establishment and she's, she's not afraid of breaking some china. OK, well, I'll give you more in the next debate. Sorry, Leo. <laughs>